Hey guys, so unfortunately it's been a couple days since I actually initially recorded this voiceover and I wanted to be able to do this intro, especially because now there's some more information coming out about Anthem and there's a lot of demos out there because the EA Access and the Origin Access has been out and people have actually been able to play it and everything. I just wanted to say that before... I recorded this audio. I had only played the VIP demo and I had only played the open open demo game, but I recorded this whole voiceover before the actual game came out and only shortly after Apex Legends came out. So I'm gonna continue into the rest of the video. Hope you guys enjoy. What's going on guys? Parker here. Obviously if you're here watching this video you have read the title and you realize that I'm going to be talking about what I believe is controversy right now in gaming, even though not many people are actually talking about this. I'm going to be throwing some video up on the screen for you guys to see as I'm talking about this right now. Alright, so, <clears throat> if, you, if you're watching this, hopefully you have either watched or played Anthem, the demo, the VIP, the full game, one of those or you have played Apex Legends. So, <clears throat> my personal belief here is that EA is really hurting at the moment. And I have been waiting for Anthem to come out for years. We need to make more money scheme since the very beginning. I remember buying Bullet Storm for Xbox 360 and having to pay extra money just so I could play online because I bought it used at uh, GameStop at the time. So EA is no stranger to doing this strangeness, this weird trying to find a way to make more money off of the gamer at any cost necessary. And now we're seeing EA release two AAA games in a very, very short time frame. My problem with this right here that I see is that Anthem has been the one that they've been pushing for the longest time. If you go on the EA Access Hub right now on Xbox One, you see that's the game they're pushing. That's the game that they want to sell. But Anybody who has seen any of the reports, and I hope to be able to bring some of these up, either from IGN, Kotaku, or another reputable source, I'll try to be throwing them on the screen as I'm saying this, that the people who made Anthem Bioware wanted the game to be a $60 game. But EA was pushing for the longest time for the game to be a free-to-play game. Now, we saw all these leaks after the VIP demo showing that the games were going to, co all the skins were going to cost like $20 in game, all these ridiculous huge prices that other games that were free to play, like Warframe for instance, may be able to get away with because Warframe is a massively huge, huge, huge game and it's free to play. I'm willing to throw money down on a game like that. The same way that I've thrown money down on Fortnite. Because I think Fortnite has really great content. It was worth for me to put money down on Fortnite. And everybody made this speculation, including some larger people, saying that if they charge $20 for skins, this is going to destroy the game. All these different things. I totally understand where they're coming from. But when you look at the fact that Bioware was being pressured to make this a free-to-play game that makes sense why they were twenty dollars hopefully they go back down and i'm actually recording this before i can get my 10 hour ea access game of anthem so i'm not sure if those prices have gone down or not and i'm really curious to see how that impacts the game but bioware is clearly stated in reports saying that they had to fight for the game to be $60, especially for a AAA studio. EA has had many issues these past couple months, including the Star Wars Battlefront thing that happened. That's terrible. And they, as far as I'm concerned, they've ruined that franchise. 
they've ruined the Mass Effect franchise with Andromeda, and now they're trying to come out with something all new, but it's going to be rivaling huge games. In my mind, between that first weekend where they saw how badly they got hit in the servers and how many issues they actually had, not to mention all the bugs, the pop-ups in the game, the pop gone for the enemies in the game. I even have footage of me flying out of the map somehow because the game didn't load correctly. And I think that when Bungie got the rights back to Destiny and left Activision... And then they, EA saw that Activision was being sued by their shareholders about the whole split. I think that EA got scared. And I think that they're so scared right now that they went to Respawn and said, Hey guys, we need you to push this out. We know the game is not done. We need you to push this out. And then once again, I'm going to try to throw a lot of graphics up on the screen so that people can see what I'm talking about. Apex Legends by Respawn, back to the subject at hand, I truly feel that EA pushed out Apex Legends as soon as they possibly could because their stock was hurting so bad, especially after that VIP demo, and they're willing to sacrifice launch of Anthem to please their shareholders. I think that this is what this game is showing us. And it's really unfortunate to see this type of thing happen. Apex Legends is a great game. Hopefully Anthem is going to be a great game. But I feel like because of the fact that Apex Legends was rushed out, there has been some suffering. But to the major population, it's taking a lot of people from Fortnite. It's taking a lot of people from um, all the other little... Battle Royale games that have been popping up, and it's taking people from the Call of Duty Blackout. They are exploding with popularity. The game is actually really smooth, really fun, really great. There's, of course, bugs, and I don't think that the game is even what it was supposed to actually be at launch, which is to say a lot, because the game feels and looks great. And if they, again, I really hope the best for Anthem. I'm really, really hoping that Anthem does not get sacrificed. But Apex Legends right now is easily second to Fortnite right now. I think in the world probably. If it's not in the world, it's going to be very soon because the game is clean. It looks amazing. It plays great. The slide mechanic is so much fun. Getting to know all the characters is a real blast. Saying how I think that EA is essentially throwing, let, uh, is throwing Anthem under the bus just so that they can please the stockholders by releasing Apex Legends. If they are doing this, it's very sad to see in 2019 that a major studio like EA is actually willing to do this. But we've seen some really crazy stuff recently with Activision and Bungie. So who knows? Who knows what's going on in this world right now with all the games that are coming out and everything. Maybe, hopefully, that means that us, the gamers, the consumers, we're going to win from all this. I really hope that because EA has been trying to find ways to demonetize us every single step of the way. Make a buck off of any single possible thing they can from us. And... I hope that that's over with, and I hope that we can get back to the core of just being able to play games and have fun and have fun with our friends and not worry about companies being predatory anymore. So I hope you guys like this content. Give me a thumbs up if you did. Please comment down below if you're playing Apex Legends. Tell me what your favorite part about the game is, whether it's a mechanic, whether it's a gun. Tell me what you think. if. You really, if you agree with me that maybe Apex Legends is coming out and it's going to destroy Anthem's launch, tell me what you guys think and hopefully you stick around for the next video when I do a little bit of a review on these games. And until then, I hope you guys have a good one and I'll talk to you soon.